As the climate change scenario unwinds, various regions on our Earth are becoming increasingly uninhabitable. This will result in major problems for health and well-being for the greater part of the global population. If major changes are not accomplished very soon, then your life will be in jeopardy as you arrive at middle age. We have less than seven years to encourage the power elite of this globe in the Western world to make major changes in the economy and the way life is conducted and end our reliance on fossil fuels and military force as a means to power industry and settle global disputes. The climate change scenario will create enormous global discord in the future. Terrorism is the result of colonialism and imperialism, along with globalization, and stripping people of their cultural roots and self-determination. We need only look at the arbitrary borders that were created in the Middle East and Africa by the Western world during those periods of colonialism to know this is true. Fighting terrorism through war, as the Bush administration has done, simply spawned more terrorism. The basic causes of terrorism were not really looked at in any concentrated way by intellectuals. A knee-jerk reaction created this illegal war in Iraq based on oil, which was sold to the American people as in the national interest. Rather than a move away from oil, which is happening eight years too late, we could have been well on the road to creating a conserver ethic and a conserver society. This is the response of the Western world time and time again throughout history as people continue not to learn from the lessons of history. It is only now we recognize the wisdom to provide the basic necessities for all people. As with the Millennium Goals that the United Nations has created to eliminate global poverty, we have come to understand when basic needs are absent, people seek other means to express their anger in violent ways. The greatest threat to human survival is not terrorism, it is climate change, and our hyper-consumerism has been the fundamental basis for the depletion of the world's resources, including oil, and leading to the possibility of the end of human life on this planet. Oil, the fossil fuel directly tied to climate change, creates the increases in the number of parts per million of carbon dioxide, CO2 released into the atmosphere. They now stand at 387 parts per million. Should concentrations reach 450 parts per million, we would have crossed the threshold leading to human demise from unstoppable feedback loops. We are currently producing 2.5 parts per million per year, and given the fact that economic growth is the sacred cow of the Western world, it would appear we will be unable to avoid the inevitable. The feedback mechanisms have begun. Rising ocean levels, the ability of the oceans to absorb CO2, methane rising from rotting tundra in the northern regions of the globe are some of the problems that have become, and the methane problem being the most extreme. We are currently producing 2.5 parts per million per year. This must stop. How you live, what you do, is not disassociated with your future survival on this planet. Therefore, you are charged with making right the mistakes of my generation. We lived a life too wealthy and of too much ease. Global communication through television and films shows all people throughout the globe a comparison to their own culture. They know what is necessary to survive. They see societies that live with overabundance and it sickens many of them. This is what I believe to be a cause of terrorism. Your survival rests with clean water, clean air, clean oceans, a lowering of the population, a dependable food supply, and a sustainable lifestyle. Without these elements and understanding with your unwavering dedication to a reduction in global warming and pollution of every kind, only this will lead to a happier life for all people and a future for your own children. This is your responsibility, since it is your life and that of your children that hangs in the balance as we live in a world on edge.